Watching Bitcoin today, there it is. Uh, 67,000 is the current price there. It's down about one half of 1%, but you do obviously have a bunch of news, including the former president talking about a national Bitcoin stockpile. You have uh, uh, former President Trump's pledge to fire the SEC chair, Gary Gensler, should he be reelected. We're talking about it today because Bill Baruch has made two moves in the crypto space that we think you'll be interested in. He joins us on the phone now. It's good to have you here. Tell us what you've done. So what I've done here is add Marathon Digital and IBIT, the Bitcoin trust here, into the, uh, my portfolio. So the, the question was, uh, when's the right time to add Bitcoin or add crypto exposure for clients? Personally, I've been invested in or traded it since 2017. And I currently and actively traded in our commodity fund. But, but when do you add it to a wealth portfolio is the real question. And it, how do you size it? For, for me, seeing the tailwinds politically, I think they're just going to be picking up. I wanted to start getting that exposure um, ahead of the weekend for those obvious reasons. And I think anybody in the, the running here, you're going to start to see all parties uh, give some favorable comments to, to Bitcoin. For, so for me, sizing it was a half a percent of each asset. So totaling it as a 1% allocation, and to, to put that in perspective, it is combined tied as our lowest holding. But I want to start getting that exposure in right now. Um, if you see IBIT, it had record-breaking inflows on July 22nd. And then Marathon, I mean, it talked about purchasing $100 million worth of Bitcoin, bringing their total to 20,000 Bitcoins, and uh, their, their policy is to hodl, if you will. So I, I think these are two great ways to get some exposure and uh, tiptoe into it for the wealth management side of our business. But you're doing it, you're doing it directly because of what you feel are the political winds um, potentially changing. And I'm curious as to why you think that even with the former president talking like he is about this stockpile and, and such, why Bitcoin would be down today if you think that the political winds are, are you know, blowing more positively, if you will. And I, I do agree with that. I, I thought it was going to be higher, and it initially was. Last night and over the weekend, Bitcoin was trading higher. But for me, it really was so much wasn't what's the next 1% or 2%. It was more about making that commitment. It's been on my radar for months. And when the ETF process began over the last year, I knew that this was going to be a step that we were going to take. So timing it and, again, sizing it was going to be the most important thing. And, and again, to put that in perspective, I didn't make I, I didn't buy just one of the two at one percent. Uh, I reduced some of the volatility that Marathon Digital may have by by making it half against the IBIT, which I feel would have a little less volatility. It's set up pretty well after uh, Bitcoin itself, a bit of a shakeout over the last couple of months. And they're stalking the, the record high. So I think this is the time to do it. Maybe not uh, in you know day to day, but I think we'll see this higher over the coming months. All right. Good stuff. Thanks for calling in. We'll see you soon. That's Bill Baruch.